Welcome to UCTV Daily Readings and Reflections. Today is the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. A reading from the book of Isaiah. It was the will of the Lord to bruise him. He has put him to grief. When he makes himself an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring, he shall prolong his days. The will of the Lord shall prosper in his land. He shall see the fruit of the travail of his soul and be satisfied. By his knowledge shall the righteous one, my servant, make many to be accounted righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May your merciful love be upon us as we hope in you, O Lord. May your merciful love be upon us as we hope in you, O Lord. The word of the Lord is faithful and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right and his merciful love fills the earth. May your merciful love be upon us as we hope in you, O Lord. Yes, the Lord's eyes are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. May your merciful love be upon us as we hope in you, O Lord. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. May your merciful love be upon us as we hope in you, O Lord. May your merciful love be upon us as we hope in you, O Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brethren, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we have not a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sinning. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia! The Son of Man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, approached Jesus. Master, they said to him, We want you to do us a favor. He said to them, What is it you want me to do for you? <clears throat> they said to him, Allow us to sit one at your right and the other at your left in your glory. You do not know what you are asking, Jesus said to them. Can you drink the cup that I must drink or be baptized with the baptism with which I must be baptized? They replied, We can. <clears throat> Jesus said to them, The cup that I must drink you shall drink. And with the baptism with which I must be baptized, you shall be baptized. But as for seats at my right hand or my left, these are not mine to grant. They belong to those to whom they have been allotted. When the other ten heard this, they began to feel indignant with James and John. So Jesus called them to him and said to them, You know that among the pagans, their so-called rulers lord it over them and their great men make their authority felt. This is not to happen among you. <clears throat> no, 
anyone who wants to become great among you must be your servant, and anyone who wants to be first among you must be slave to all. For the Son of Man himself did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Good morning, dear viewers. Welcome back to UCTV Daily Reflection on this 29th Sunday. Good morning, particularly to those who are in pain and suffering, because the readings today speak about suffering. Now, suffering is evil. No one wants to suffer. We all have an instinctive uh, mechanism within us that runs away from suffering. Faced with suffering or pain or sorrow, we try either to escape or to fight. <clears throat> and this we see not just in human beings but also in other creatures. The stray dog you chase away runs for its life. The chicken you want to eat wants to survive. The mosquito you want to hit also want to escape because we don't want to suffer. Now, suffering at the same time is inevitable. It is inescapable. Once you are born, you can't avoid it. A child is born in pain, pain of the mother, but also pain of the child. It comes out crying. And sometimes if it's too weak to cry, they induce the crying, adding to its pain. All the stages of our life have their particular suffering. The youth, the teenagers, the young men looking for jobs, looking for marriage, those working, those who are jobless, the sick, and eventually dying. And if you think someone is not suffering, maybe you don't know them well. Or their suffering has not yet come, but suffering is inevitable. Now, the good news of the readings today is that they show us a different side, different perspective, a positive way of looking at suffering. And particularly we are invited to reflect on the redemptive suffering of our Savior. We have heard in the first reading, in the reading from the servant song, that by his sufferings shall my servant justify many, taking their faults on himself. And Jesus himself in the gospel tells his disciples, explaining about the true nature of leadership, that for the Son of Man himself did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. That was his suffering. And so the first thing uh, as a response to the readings of today is a spirit of gratitude. Gratitude to our Savior who gave his life that we may have life, who taught us to look at suffering with its redemptive purpose. We also are grateful, not only to the Savior, but also to all the people in our lives who have suffered that we may have a better life. Our parents, our leaders, our even subjects, even a person you pay money to do a service, you don't say it's, it's my money. He grew the food, he has cooked it, he has washed his clo your clothes. That is suffering for them, for our own sake. We are grateful to those. <clears throat> we are also invited in these readings to look at our own suffering, the suffering within our life, within our ministry, within our work, Look at the challenges you have and the attitude you have to these challenges. He says that he has said that don't be like the leaders of this world who load it over their subject, but let your service, your work be a service to others. The pain I go through, I need to look at the positive it brings to others when I engage myself. So that through our work, through our suffering and pain, we give life. And we find joy in giving life, in serving others, in bringing good or reducing their pain. 
look at my job as a source of service. And uh, uh, finally, <clears throat> we are also invited to look at those who have a bigger share of suffering. If you visit the hospitals, the overcrowded hospitals, go to the cancer ward, go to the casualty ward, the pediat pediatric ward, children suffering and so on. And then there are also those in the villages who can't afford to pay for the suffer for, 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 for treatment. And those who can afford it, it but who are in great pain nonetheless. They have a greater share of suffering. And we like to pray in this Sunday's through the reflection of these Sunday readings that they may learn to accept the suffering as a means of salvation. My dear brother or sister out there going through painful situations, that you may obtain the grace not to waste this suffering, to see, to give it as a prayer to the Lord, and He who has the capability of bringing good out of evil, to give you patience and perseverance in the cross of His Son. <clears throat> we also like to pray for the caretakers, overwhelmed medical staff, people taking care of their relatives and friends, sleepless nights, having to abandon your job, the inconvenience of taking care of another and so on, that you may have the patience to treat them with love, with care, to make their suffering more bearable. And finally, we also pray, learn, we ask the grace not to pray like the two disciples who said, Master, allow that what we want be done. Allow us on your side, to, to sit on your side, one on the left and the, the right in your kingdom. Quite often our prayers are like that. I tell God, give me this and this and this and this, and give it to me now. I may even add a novena or three days of fasting, but I am demanding that let my will be done. That we like to learn to pray with the psalmist in the words we heard in the responsorial psalm. <clears throat> may your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. And I bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.